Hey, yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? Jerry Dan Gaming coming back with another Viking Rise video. And today we are going to be discussing altars. How do you defeat them? What buffs are they giving you? What benefits are they giving to your alliance overall? And most importantly, what kind of rewards are you going to get for taking these altars? These are going to be the level, pretty much the level one structures after you take your beast layers. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Day six, uh, altars have opened up a little bit earlier today. I believe our alliance has done two of them already. I wasn't online, I was at work to capture them. Luckily, we staggered them, so we are going to be doing another one uh, very shortly. So you have your level one beast layers that, uh, that open three days after the kingdom opens, and then about a little under a week you're going to have altars so you got to make sure that you are building appropriately make sure again from those tips in my ultimate beginner guide that you are in an alliance that is going to be setting themselves up in a good position that building wise that they're going to be able to take and maximize all of these rewards in the very beginning of the game so what are altars what are they going to do for you what kind of rewards do they yield so we're actually sitting right below one so as you can see these altars they are going to be uh part of your uh your your sites your strongholds that you are going to be able to obtain through uh your alliances now you can see here all tribe members will receive 1000 gems a city relic city re relocator three one hour speed ups for building some food stone and wood you're also going to be getting buffs very much like the beast layers where they're giving you very small gathering buffs but they're buffs nonetheless for these you are going to be getting buffs so this altar that we're going to be taking is going to be giving us a construction or a building acceleration buff if we go over to one of the ones that we took earlier uh this is going to give a research speed up bonus Next is going to be a resource gathering buff. So we are getting the appropriate buffs that we are going to need. I get, I'm not sure if these are going to stack if you have multiple uh, altars, but if it's anything like other city builders, I highly doubt that you're going to be able to stack some of these buffs. So the, those are gonna be all the buffs that you're gonna be getting from your altars. You're gonna be getting construction speed, resource gathering speed, and research speed uh, bonuses. Now, I believe there's about two of these per zone that you, per starting zone that you are going to get so again make sure you are in an alliance that's setting themselves up because if you are able to obtain all three of the uh, altars that you need that's three thousand gems altogether that's pretty big that's three thousand gems that's nine hours worth of building speed you get six city really city relocators so um very very nice buffs all around and if we go in here to here it clearly states buffs from altars of the same type cannot be stacked so there's no point in going after multiple altars with the same buffs unless you are trying to get a little extra greedy with the rewards but they're not going to do anything for you in terms of buffs all right so as we are getting ready to set up for our little altar fight <clears throat> someone just dropped into alliance chat so vlb shout out to you and our vhgs alliance chat you'll need two armies one of 30k that will join the rally from legolas he's going to be our rally lead and then one x for all other troops to defend the rally from additions that will attack during the encounter for the people who do not know yet uh, all right here we go we have our rally set mr legolas is getting ready to rally the masonry altar he is going to be rallying with laird and yvette so after he rallies i'm going to I'm gonna peek in and see what kind of skills he's using because okay so masonry altar what is inside <clears throat> uh this is going to probably be a niflunga defender you're gonna have 200 200k lancers bow rangers and axe fighters all of the tier two level it doesn't look like there's any skills so this should be a pretty straightforward battle uh and again if anyone from vhrg is watching please go to our discord go to the youtube portion in our alliance discord go to the post click just simply click on the post that i posted 
in the Viking Rise section, okay? And for anyone else that's watching the video, please do this. Go to the Viking Rise section. I believe it is called the, this is what the channel name is called, the Guide Contest. I posted my Ultimate Beginner Guide. I'm gonna be posting all of my other videos in there as well. It's pretty much a contest to win Amazon gift cards and, and stuff of the like. So um, if you guys could please go in there, make sure you upvote my video because that is going to how they determine who wins. Uh, a lot of what Viking Rise has been doing, I already contacted them for, for sponsored creator uh, bit, but it doesn't look like they're doing that. They're doing a lot of different contests and stuff uh, in terms of how they're going to be doing that. So I need your guys help by hitting the like button on all of the videos that I post, subscribing if you guys are enjoying the content. Um, we, I still do want to try and land a sponsorship, but for right now, it looks like I'm going to have to have to hammer these contests to win these out. And what I want to do is I want to take the winnings from that and I want to pump that back into my channel to give you guys more content. I'm talking about spending guides, how, the, how to best use your gems. I, I want to use the investments into the game to further better the value and the content that I can bring to the channel for Viking Rise. Any support you guys give is very greatly appreciated. Thank you in advance. So we can see our rally launching. So I think this is probably gonna be the first rally that I have maybe featured on my channel. So as you can see, you can see all your troops around and then they have this big like war tower with your pretty much what would be like your siege unit to, uh, you know, your battering ram to to enter a, uh, a city or a castle or or anything of the like. Uh, it's kind of very similar to like what you see in like more so more so than anything I've watched is probably Lord of the Rings and uh, the big uh, kind of structures that the that the uh, that Sauron's troops use the orcs and all that all that stuff. I want to see if these guys start running in. So uh, a, a nice little nuance feature is uh, they will start to charge as soon as they get close enough. I want to see if rallies also do the same thing. And we are going to have to focus here because. And uh, it looks like rally. Oh, yep. Rally's running, charging in. Let's go, baby. Bam, bam, bam. Let's go, Legolas. Let's go, Legolas. Let's see. We are going to have to defend a little bit. So let's try and let's see. We'll try and take up some empty space. It's going to be some AOE. So there, there is skill that comes from this altar. So please beware. There isn't skills listed, but it looks like there is AOE. And I'll do some for, for testing, for testing purposes. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got to kill him, but it looks like the the rally is going to be doing the rally is going to be doing its thing. Okay, there. I just got hit with AOE, so it would be a little bit painful. And I'm still kind of dancing around in this AOE again. This is this is strictly for content. Please do. If you see AOE, oh here we go, here we go. If you see AOE, do not stand in the middle of it like I am doing. I'm strictly doing it for content. Sake. It looks like there's a lot coming over here and some AFK players. So let's try and help out up here a little bit. You know what? I don't even think they're going to make it. I kind of want to swarm this thing. Because you know. You know me. You know we swarm everything. Just kidding. I don't swarm everything. But I, I do swarm a good amount. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. No. I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm going. I'm going for it. <laughs> I'm going for it. I don't care. Content, baby. Content. Scary monster. There you go. Good job, man. He said, come to the left side. I don't want to be on YouTube. I will give a shout out to Scary Monster. He is one of the ones that had uh, helped me out and went and up like that video again in the Viking Rise Discord. So please make sure you do that. Um, boom. Here we go. Divine Realm Occupation. Valhalla Rising. Masonry Altar. And then you get our damage. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, number two, baby. Number two. Real quick, I just want to jump in and see what Mr. Legolas was using for his skills. So he's using a level 39 layered and a level 31 at Yvette. So once you get your heroes to level 40, you actually open up this second skill slot. So he does have a pretty decent layered right now. He's got uh, level five on the first skill, uh, level two on the second skill and these you can level up freely So I'm pretty sure what he's doing is level up level five Then bringing second skill up to level five and then he's going to go back to the first skill and bring that up to level 10 
as that is the max level in Viking Rise, and then he's going to do the same thing with the second skill. And then this is going to be Fiery Detonation. This is going to be a skill that you are going to obtain from the rebate package. Again, I'll leave a card up on the top to check out my ultimate beginner guide. This is something that you can get through gems, and it is very highly recommended. You're getting a pretty dope legendary skill here for pretty much free. And you can see he's kind of leveled that up a little bit here. And then also Awakening. Uh, this is another base skill that you get for, I think if you do have to spend a little bit, but I think you, you can get it relatively easily. Here are some skills actually. So you can scout, but it's not gonna give it give you the, the actual skills listed for your altar captain. So the Divine Realm Defender uh, deals damage to all targets one time, direct damage factor of 400. Increases damage by 2.5% every 15 seconds to stack. This effect can be stacked up to five times. So, uh, what, 12.5% damage. Uh, for every 30% of troops lost, summons fervent followers to retaliate against the attacking rallied troops. So you, you saw that as that was the one troop that spawned and started to attack our man Legolas's army, which kind of melted anyway because it's a rally and it's just one troop. And then support call summons eight Niflung troops for every 50% of troops lost, recovers 25% of troops in Divine Realm, and fully restores rage after the Niflungs enter the, the, the Divine Realm. This can be triggered up to one time. So you don't want the Niflung troops to uh, get to the altar because then it was it is going to essentially heal your, your altar captain or this Divine Realm defender. So you do want to make sure that you kill those or just kill the altar before these things can make it to the center. Okay, y'all, so that is our altar video breakdown. If you guys are enjoying the content, please hit that like button, consider subscribing. It's all totally free. It's the best way that you can support the channel. For those who are new to, to my channel from Viking Rise, we are going to be doing my Dirty Gang Saturday stream tomorrow. What is that? Well, that is pretty much where my community pops on. Um, those who are at my level three memberships and above, they come in, they come in Discord with me. They will be featured on stream. We come in, we chill out, we hang out, and most importantly, they get me drunk. So it's dirty shots with the Dirty Gang. It should be fun. We're bringing this back, and then we will be doing some adjustments to this segment and the day, but we are going to keep, keep that rolling as it seems to be a fan favorite right now. So be sure to tune into that stream tomorrow at about 21 UTC, I believe I'm going to be going live. So uh, thank y'all so much for the support. I appreciate everyone. Happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend. I'm out. Take care. Peace.